it's Fia from the Virtual Reality Show and welcome back to another VTubing tutorial video. So today I'm going to be going over the program Luppet, which is what I use to do all my VTubing streaming over on Twitch. So I already made it over to the Luppet website, which is where you're going to want to start off. You can watch this video here and kind of see a demonstration of what's going on and you can see that they're using a leap motion. So if I scroll down, I can see that there's actually a few different versions of Luppet, which is pretty important to figure out. So they do have a free trial of the program, which would be zero dollars and zero cents. Woohoo, super great deal. But there's also the personal version, the pro version and the enterprise version. So most of you guys are just going to be looking at the personal version because you're going to be using it for streaming or YouTube videos, which, you know, is very personal reasons. If you are making a lot of money from a corporation, that's when you're going to be looking at these other two versions, but just ignore them for now. So the personal version does cost about 5,000 Japanese yen, which the little conversion hack that I always use is uh, just take away two zeros and then just brown down and that'll get you the approximate price uh, in USD. So this is going to be a little short of $50. So now I can scroll back up here and I'm going to hit this button, which takes me to the Japanese website booth, which is where you actually download Luppet and can get your license for it. So here's what the free trial looks like. You can basically do everything, but your uh, preview down here is going to have like a giant stamp on it. This is like trial and, <laughs> you know, you don't necessarily want that while you're streaming. So I'm going to scroll down all the way to the bottom here and you can see that the other three Luppet versions are here. This one with the unlock symbol is the one we're going for. So now I have the place where I downloaded Luppet. I'm using an older version right now, um, but I'm going to go ahead and click on it. But what I'm going to make sure to do is right click and run as administrator because if you do not run as administrator then if you're clicked off of Luppet you won't necessarily be able to hotkey facial expressions which is very cruddy so let's go ahead and do that just like this all right so it's telling me a new version has been released I'm not using that because some of my models have um special characters in them and it is throwing a fit about that so don't mind me with that um, I'm gonna click okay so now I am inside the Luppet and up here is where you can do your license activation. I already have mine unlocked. You can also do expression keys, language setting. Um, definitely don't want to log out. So over here is where all of your VRM files are. So obviously I have a whole bunch of different FIA models with um, different outfits, etc. So my very, very basic one is here. And she's going to appear over on the side here. Looking very cute, FIA. So I'll come over here to the camera for face recognition and you can do your different um, cameras. I just have my stream webcam right here and you just want to make sure that your camera is not being used by any other applications. So once I have the model selected here, I can go ahead and click expression keys. So this is basically how you get to do all of the different um, key expressions. So I'm actually going to show you a hack really quick um, before we totally jump into it. So you see I have all of these map to keys that are like um, like F21. Like obviously I don't have an F21 on my keyboard. So why am I doing that? How do I have it work? So if I go down to my IQ application, which is what I use for all my Corsair uh, products here. Um, and I believe that you can do this with other keyboard programs and stuff as well. Um, is I'm going to go ahead and click over on my mouse, my beautiful RGB mouse. And I'm going to change from this profile to this other profile that I've created called Luppet. So when I click on my Luppet profile, I actually changed some of the keys on my mouse um, to be remapped. So if you see over here, I have literally remapped the different buttons on my mouse. And obviously this only works if you have a mouse like mine, um, but I've remapped them to be these other um, function keys. So then when I come back over here, I can get them by hitting like the forward page button or the back page button to get um, some of these different expressions. Um, which makes it really, really easy while you're streaming to get those different expressions. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this model. So yeah, looks like we made it in. Hi guys, it's me, Fia. What's up? Yeah, I'm in the corner today. You finally see me. Yep. <laughs> and so uh, starting off with the background here, I always change mine to magenta because Fia has these nice, beautiful green eyes that unfortunately quite often get green screened out. So I just changed mine to magenta. That's just what I use. Use whatever color you want for your model. Just, you know, just be wary of what kind of, you know, textures and colors you do have. Um, over here, I have the brightness. So, you know, you can do bloom and stuff, but I don't really necessarily like <laughs> messing with all that. 
Um, lighting, I always usually put Fia on the bottom corner of my screen, like down here. So I like to move the horizontal kind of down this way so that it looks like the um, light of the game is shining on her, which is a nice little look. So then webcam calibration. So the way that this is gonna work is that I'm literally going to look directly at my webcam and then calibrate. Five, four, three, two, one. And voila, now I'm very centered. So if you weren't centered before, that's how you get centered. So you can also see that I'm a little sideways right now when I'm walking. Uh, so let me kind of scoot. Okay, so literally all I did was move around my room a little bit, move around on my chair, and that kind of rebalanced. So if I right click and drag, that's how I'm actually moving around. I can scroll in with the mouse button. You can see my hand on my mouse right now as I'm doing this. So now I can go over to my leap motion settings. So this is gonna adjust how your leap motion is set. So for Leppa, you're always gonna want it around your neck or collarbone or kind of at the, the top of your shirt. I actually have a 3D printed clip that I just attach to a regular t-shirt whenever I'm doing streaming and stuff. And then I can pull up my hands just like that. Uh, unfortunately, hand tracking is not always the most accurate, but it works the best it can. So that's okay. But I can literally adjust how it's set by moving this around. So you can see my hands moving. I'm not moving my hands. It's literally just me playing with this thing on the screen. So that's how that works. Um, this just tells you how to do the character positioning and then lip sync. So I'm using my Elgato Wave mic right now, which is what I always use for streaming. I actually am partnered with Elgato, so make sure you check out the link in the description to get one of these amazing freaking mics. They seriously have the greatest products for streaming. I cannot recommend Elgato enough. And now if I go to the character advanced settings, this is where you can do the shoulder correction. So V-Raid models are notorious for having shitty shoulders. Um, <laughs> so if I just bring this back a bit, it kind of makes them more wide. I can make it go down low. This looks terrifying. Why the fuck would anybody do this? I don't know. And then you can do the leap motion advanced settings. So you can uh, change how far up and how far wide your hands will go. So now that I have everything set up, I can just press the escape key. I'm all big on the screen now, looking all cute. Ha ha ha, VTubing. Yes, let's play some Minecraft. Ha 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 ha, yep, yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually how it goes. As far as actually getting a leap motion set up goes, it's incredibly simple. I literally just plug it into my computer by USB, put it on my shirt with the shirt clip, and my hands are ready to go. Well, thanks so much for watching this video. And if you do want to learn more about VTubing, then make sure to check out the other videos on my channel. I do have quite a few at this point. And if you have any more VTubing questions, then make sure you join my Discord, link in the description, because we have an entire channel dedicated towards asking them and answering them to help you get started. Make sure to like this video if it helped you out and subscribe to the Virtual Reality Show channel. That way you can see more VTubing tutorials as they come out and see more VR related content. Also, make sure to follow my Twitch so you can see me VTubing in action. I'm trying to get partnered right now and every little view counts towards helping me achieve that goal. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.